Hey guys, welcome to HNS Academy. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new app tracking transparency feature. Basically, Apple announced its new iOS 14.5 and with that came this new privacy feature, which lets users decide whether to allow apps to track their activity across other companies' apps and websites. Mainly, it is used for advertising purposes. However, if any of the apps are collecting data in similar fashion, you will now get a pop-up on your screen um, on your Apple or any of the iOS uh, devices that um, whether you want to allow uh, to share data with those uh, apps or you don't want to allow it. A lot of the apps collect data like your age, location, your uh, browsing history or your spending habits and they would use this to personalize the ads experience for you. Um, however, some of the apps have some embedded trackers. They uh, use those uh, to collect some extra data which is usually not required and um, that data is used to create some online profile of yours and that is in turn sold to advertisers and other data banks. However, this new app tracking transparency feature will now give you the option to choose whether you want to share your data and if you don't want to share it, you can simply choose not to. Now, companies like Facebook uh, could be heavily impacted with this new feature um, as it could highly impact their ad revenue or ad business. Uh, Facebook had actually criticized this um, back in the 2020 uh, when uh, Apple had plans to launch this along with the iOS 14 release in September 2020. However, this feature was then delayed to be released um, in early 2021, which has now been released. Uh, Facebook had even um, run some ads as well. They had um, added an ad back in December 2020, um, a full page newspaper ad which stated that we are standing up to Apple for small businesses everywhere. So basically Facebook's take on this was that uh, it was going to uh, affect the small businesses uh, heavily as they won't be able to target a particular audience which is there on the Apple's devices. Um, and which in turn would be a great loss for the small businesses as they won't be able to reach their target audience. After that, in uh, February 2021, Facebook started showing a prompt to the Apple users on iPhone and iPad. Um, basically, they showed a page of information um, saying that why uh, Facebook thinks that they should um, allow them to track them on iOS and also adding the argument that uh, doing so will make ads more personalized and help support businesses that rely on advertising. So over time, Facebook continued its experiments and they collected required information from their users regarding this app tracking transparency feature. Um, and now that Apple has actually released this feature, it seems that it might not affect companies like Facebook and Google, uh, although it might slightly affect their revenue, um, the ad revenue business, but it seems that um, this could actually be a good thing for them as well on the other side that it will now shift the advertisers towards them and towards using their platforms more. Uh, regarding the ads or because the targeted ads on the Apple devices are not going to be as affected as they were initially and advertisers would be more inclined to use the, um, these bigger platforms like Facebook and Google. So that's all for today's video. Hopefully we'll get to see more action on this from Facebook and Google etc. Uh, now that it has actually been released, we'll see some reaction uh, statements or videos from um, Facebook or Google or similar companies regarding this and we'll see how this goes. So that's all for today's video. Hope this was helpful and informational. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get notified for any upcoming updates like this. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.